midway and start the next one. All right, so remember back with this lesson, and I put the standard up there too so you can find it if you need to in my uh, other videos if you need more explanation. But the difference of two squares was one of those, um, one of those, uh, remember we had all our properties where we had a squared minus b squared, we had a to the third minus b to the third, we had a to the third plus b to the third, we had all these different ways, you know, we had a plus b squared, all these different things that we had to work out. And these were all our polynomial properties. We're only going to focus on this polynomial property reviewing for the midterm. Okay, So the difference, subtraction of two squares, two squares, two values being squared. And uh, the way this works out is really quick and easy because if it's a squared minus b squared, all you have to do is find your a value from your a squared, find your b value from the b squared using uh, square root. Once you know your a and your b, you set up two binomials, it's a plus the b, it's a minus the b, and you're done. Okay. So the key to this is, first you want to look and see, is this a perfect square, is this a perfect square? So I'll give you a non-example where this won't work first. What if we had y squared uh, minus uh, 7? Why does this trick? It's really just a trick. It's just a trick. Um, I like to even think of it as, uh, what, what's Optimus Prime? Optimus Prime is what? He's an Autobot, more specific, and uh, what what uh, kind of automobile? He's a big rig, okay. So the same parts are part of Optimus Prime if he's a robot alien versus if he's transformed into a semi, okay. This is almost the same, I want you to kind of relate it as an analogy for this being very similar. These are exactly the same, it's just in a different form, okay. It's been transformed over here, to two binomials, once we know our A values, no problem. Somebody help me out, why can we... Why can't we do the difference of two squares with this guy? What is he? The square root of seven is like a decimal. It's a decimal. The difference of two squares, it's talking about two perfect squares. They both have to, we need to check, to check if both are perfect squares. They have to be able to have a square root that gives you an even number. Okay, so you're checking if they're both perfect squares. In this case, no, we can't take the square root of 7. We wouldn't get a whole number. So no, this one's out. How about this? Here's my a squared. So if I want to find a, I'm going to take the square root of x squared. And I find that my a is what? What times what gives me x squared? x times x. How about here? 81. Now I notice that the negative is just the difference. It's between these two. It's between this. It's not part of 81. Square root of 81 is 9. Now I have my B. I have my A. What do you think goes here? What do you think? And if you did X plus 9 there, or you did X minus 9 there, it doesn't matter because 2 times 3, 3 times 2. Multiplication doesn't matter the order. Okay. That's your answer. What might you be tempted to do when you see two binomials like this? Foil it out, right? If you FOIL it out, you get back to x squared minus 81. FOIL and factor, sorry, factoring and expanding are just member of big circle. So don't, there's no need unless you're checking yourself. Okay. Uh, go ahead and do this one right here on your own. Double check your neighbor. Make sure they're up to speed with you. So what do we have? What do we have here when we take square root of z squared? Don't say it. Don't say it. Let everyone do it. So we're going to have a is equal to something, b is equal to something. We're starting with our a squared and our b squared, working it down to have an a and a b value. So what should we get for that? So work on that for about a minute, then check your neighbor. Once you're done, check your neighbor. All right, check their neighbor, and then uh, I'm calling somebody randomly. I'm going to drop a starburst on the seating chart. Just thought of that. It's a, good one. It's a good way to do it, right? Yeah. Uh, about All 
All right, we're going to call on... That's closest to Elizabeth. Uh, Elizabeth, what did you get for your A value? Uh, Z. Z? Square root of Z squared? Z. Okay. Great. How about uh, B value? Seven. Seven. So we're going to set up our two binomials, right? And then what goes in our binomials? Uh, Z plus seven. Z plus seven. And? And then Z minus seven. Perfect. Perfect. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Here we go. Nice catch. All right. Last one is a little bit more tricky, but not super tricky. So we're going to first just do our square roots. Go ahead and work those out. That left square root, really focus on that. Really focus on that. Remember, you're asked what times what gives you 4a squared. What times what gives you 4a squared. And it's not this. It is not this. This isn't 4a squared. Right? This is 4a squared. So the squared is connected to that a value. It's a subtle difference, but if I wanted to know the square root of this, it would just be 4a. That's, inc that's not correct. This is not what we were dealing with. We have this guy. What times what gives you that 4a squared? Good. Same 2a in the back. Alright, All right, so we get our a value is 2a. Our b value is 1. Binomials. 2a plus 1. 2a minus 1. Alright, thumbs up sideways down for difference of two squares. Feeling good? I like a lot of thumbs up. That's good. I think every thumbs up that time. Right, I'm going to pause this. We're going to come back second. Great. All right, we're back with binomial theorem. This is 2a, 2, 3. Now, looking at this, first we have to fill out the rest of this Pascal's triangle. And we learned and studied Pascal's triangle quite a bit. We learned about um, the different patterns we can make with it. Remember, there was the 11 trick, there was the 2 trick, all these different tricks you can find out. Um, but how do we create, first off, what's on the sides of the Pascal's triangle? Ones, right? And then each sequential rule below is a combination of the top two values above it added together. So what's one and one? Two. What's one and two? Three. Same here. How about here? Four. Six. Okay. So you can expand that out if you were, again, like lost on a desert island, you had none to do. You make a Pascal's triangle every day to the hundredth row. Actually, that might be some of the past time, but you don't need to. Someone who would see that and be like, nah. That's true. All right. That's good. We're looking at we're looking at situations where we have any two values like this raised to a power. Okay. So if I look at this, if I have this example here, which we're going to do together, I would have to do a lot of foiling because it would be x plus three, x plus three, x plus three, x plus three. I'd have to foil out this first part, then this part, and then multiply all those together. It would be a lot, a lot of work. So we use the binomial theorem because that uses Pascal's triangle and that genius of Pascal's triangle. And we set up, let me just frame it this way. It doesn't even matter what your A and B are. It does not matter what your A and B are. It's going to be the same process every time. So every single time I have A and B to the first power, I'll end up with this setup, which we're going to explore in just a moment. Every time it's to the second power, I end up with this setup. Every time to the third, I end up with this setup. And then I just input A and B. Setting it up is hard, but if you wanted to, you could work all these out. You can add A and B to the third. You can do an A and B to the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Have all these written out on your notes that you can keep. And then you'll be able to double check yourself pretty easy. But the key first step, set it all up. Second step, put in your A and B. Third step, simplify. Okay, so let's see. First off, identify A and B. Let's do that for this. A is X. B is 3. Now, what if, we're not going to change the problem, but what if this was X minus 3? What would my B value be then? Negative 3. Okay. We are going to keep positive 3, so I just was showing you an example there. B is positive 3 in this case. All right, what's our in value? In value? Where do we find that? In is our exponent. 
So I look here, my n value is 4. So I know that what I'm going to pretty much set up here is the n tells us we're going to look at row 4 of Pascal's triangle. And that's going to tell us what our coefficients are. It's going to tell us what these numbers are out here. Okay. So let's go ahead and set this up. We're going to have, so use a lot of room here. We're going to have a 1 plus 4 plus 6. Leave room for A and B to put in each. 4 plus 1. Now again, we're going to set this all up. We'll set it all up before we input the A and the B. And that is the same format. It'll be set up for any, any binomial that's raised to the fourth power. Eventually, when we set the form up, I'll show you the point where you just can point to it and say, use this. You notice to the fourth power, it's going to end up looking almost like this. We have one more step. All right, so we have the coefficients in. Let's go ahead and we start setting up the format. We need to input the exponents. So remember, the exponents for the A. A is going to be all of the first terms. A, 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 A. It's always in alphabetical order. It's in the sequential order it's set up in. So what I need to do is I need to first note that since it is to the fourth power, this is the fourth power. The exponent, the max, is going to be the fourth power. So I look at my A's. My A's are going to go descending. My B's are going to go ascending. So let's go four, three, two, one, zero. B values ascend from zero. We're going to go zero, one, two, three, four. All right, this right here. This right here, for any problem, if I had this, z plus 10 to the fourth, I would still be setting it up exactly like this. This is, for any situation, a plus b to the fourth, you're going to have this format. Then you just input the a and b that is for that problem. Okay. So I'm just trying to give you a real shortcut here. If you know that this is going to be hard on the test, you can write all these formats out. And that would maybe be a lot to write out for your notes, but if this is the key thing that's the hardest, do that. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and put in last step. Simplify. Oh, input the A and B. Let's do that. X, 3, X, 3, X, 3, X, 3, X, 3. So you're not alone if you look up and you say it looks horrible. It's like a horrible thing not to work out. Right? A couple people think of that? Right. Not the funnest thing. We're going to do one thing at a time. Let's look at this to start. 3 to the 0 power. Anything to the 0? 1. 1 times 1 is 1 times x to the 4th. X to the Plus. Oh, let's move it over. <coughs> All right, next term here, one at a time. All these are multiplied together. So as long as you see this one is applying to the three, three to the first is three. Okay. Three times four is 12. X to the third power is X to the third power. Now we do this one. Three squared is nine, so we get nine. We get six. X squared is X squared. So we have these three values now that we can combine. Maybe that's a helpful step to put that there. 6 is 6. x squared is x squared. 3 squared is 9. Now multiply. 54 x squared. All right. Next, we have 4 times x to the first is x times what is 3 to the third? 27. 27 times 4? 108. We had x to the first power, so it's 108x. Uh, last one. Let's see, we have 1 times 1. x to the 0 is 1. 3 to the 4th, I think, is 81. Yeah. Great. 
answer. Right? <coughs> so again, the, the shortcut, if you know this is just really challenging, it's the hardest, the hardest topic for you, the shortcut is write down these identities. Maybe take a picture of these or work them out individually, but these are completely correct. Anything to the first power, any binomial to the first power, has this format. Second power, format. Third, format. Fourth was this before we filled it in. So I'm just trying to give you a really good hint if you know this is really tricky because you'll have a half sheet of notes available. Okay. All right, so if I was doing this one, it's to the fourth power, so I know I have it already set up to the fourth power. I would just be inputting in here. This would be z10, 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 z10. It wouldn't change anything else. We wouldn't have to start from the beginning. Okay. So when you're doing your homework, maybe even look at that. Once you get to a step where you see it's this is how the format is for the fourth power, keep that in mind when you see another fourth power problem. You see? All right. Uh, let's see. Candy Crux, what's our part of this? Uh, there's probably two or three. What's our part? What do you guys have? Mm. Say again one more time. The, these parts, like doing doing this part. Okay, it's being really careful with it. Okay, so we have to be really careful. Here you go, Mom. Perfect. Max on. The exponents going either direction. Okay. So we know one goes up, one goes down. The first letter A is going to be going up or up. So that's good notes to put. Any last candy crux? Yeah, Malaysia. Oh, Pascal's triangle. Okay. And that's something that we can we can set up. You know, if you had to, you could start with just one and one. You know, that's two. There's always one on the end, so you can just start building it from the middle more. So um, put that on your notes if you if you don't have it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give you a Pascal's triangle for it because you can make it. All right. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Thumbs up, sideways, down for this one. Thumbs up, sideways, down. All right. That's a lot of thumbs up or sideways. Okay. What should we say to our viewers in Brazil? It's probably it's warm there because it's their summer right now. Man. Nobody speaks Portuguese. Is it just a Wednesday? It's hump day, you guys are getting over the hump. Get over the hump. All right. Uh, let's see. How about just subscribe on three? One, two, three. Subscribe. Please.